Hey folks, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Today I'm going to be trying out this new scratch based IDE called Microblocks and I'm going to use it to program my M5 stack Atom matrix. First, I'm going to go ahead and download Microblocks. I'm going to get the Windows version. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install it. Okay, so we get this Windows protected your PC, but I'm going to go ahead and run it anyway. We're just going to accept all the defaults here. And let's go ahead and launch it. There we go. Now one of the cool things about Microblocks is it actually has live coding. Meaning that while you're in the IDE, you can click this little green run arrow and whatever code you have is going to run on the board without having to upload it. In fact, you can even check the value of sensors. We're going to test that out next. So the first thing you need to do is hook up your device and flash it with the firmware that's compatible with Microblocks. So I'm going to click here and say show advanced blocks. And then we're going to want to update the firmware. So I'm going to go over here and hook up my Atom matrix to my USB port. There we go. So now we're going to update the firmware on the board. And of course we select the M5 Atom matrix board type. Okay, and once the firmware is updated on the board, we should see this USB plug go to green here. Okay, I just disconnected it and reconnected it, but you see it's green now. That means that my M5 Atom matrix board is ready to interact with microblocks. I want to look at a few of the libraries that are available here. So again, I've shown the advanced blocks. I'm going to hit libraries. And we see here under libraries we have some media options, networking options, including HTTP client and server, and Wi-Fi setup. Under other, there's a variety of other development boards featured here. Sensing. Again, here, very specific options for various sensors that you could have attached to your Arduino or ESP32. System. These look like functions that are already in the Microblocks language. And it'll be interesting to look at those sometime in the future. Basic sensors provides read, tilt in the three axis, acceleration, and if your board's equipped, temperature, light level, and many boards come with this particular type of sensor, such as the microbit, circuit playground, calliope, etc. So we know the M5 Atom matrix has the motion sensor built in. LED display. This is another one that we're going to be using with the M5 Atom matrix because it works with the 5x5 LED display. Hopefully I'll have time to dive deeper into microblocks because it sure looks like there's a lot of opportunities here. Let's look over here and check out some of the blocks that are available. There's the output blocks. Here's input. Obviously there's buttons and timers. Okay, here you can read digital and analog pins. So COM is your I to C and SPI devices. Control has a lot of your programming functionality like loops and conditional statements. I was impressed with the amount of operators they have available here. I don't seem to recall that in some of the other blocky IDEs that I had seen. Variables, obviously you can set up variables for programming in microblocks. Data. This lets you work with lists. It's a very interesting uh, section here. So now we're going to actually check out that live coding feature. I'm opening up an example program that I've already built out. Here we've got live demo. Now this is real simple so you can see I just have the win started and a forever loop and then we have the basic sensors library loaded and we're going to graph the tilt of X, Y, and Z. 
So I'm just going over here to hit the green arrow to fire this up. And then I'm going to open the graph panel. And you can see there's the graph from the live data. And I'm going to go ahead and move the board around here. And you can see that's graphed right there in the graph based on the motion. So right now I haven't written anything to this particular atom matrix. But you can see we can read the values of the sensors that are available on the board live in the IDE, which makes it really convenient to figure out, well, what kind of data am I going to get from this sensor, and then write code around it. I'm going to go ahead and stop this now. And we'll close the graph. I'm going to open my next example now. This was a test of the 5x5 five five LED display on the Atom Matrix. It's a relatively simple program here. Now again here, I'm going to run it in live mode. And we can see right there, it explodes three times and then it displays Shotoku Tech. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and write this firmware onto this particular board. First of all, I'm going to stop this here. Let's go ahead and write that. Update the firmware on the board. Okay, so I'm going to reach over and hit the reset button on there. There, and it's running that program. So just to check, I'm going to put it on a battery so that it's actually not connected to micro blocks. So I got this, got this USB battery and I'm just going to hook it up to that and then we'll work with the other board. There we go. See if we can't get a little closer there. How about that? There we go. So that board's running just off of a USB battery there. And it's got that program running. I'm going to load up my other example. And you can see it was very easy to write this code using all of the blocks that were available and some simple libraries that I added that are compatible with the atom matrix. So my last example here is Tipsy, and this is going to take advantage of the motion sensor on the atom matrix and the 5x5 five five LED display. Okay, this one's a little more complicated, so I'm using basic sensors to read the tilt XY, throw in a little math there, and then I do some less than and equal to, and then I configure the display according to the X and Y tilt. And there's a little some timing in there as well. So we're going to go ahead and see how this works. Of course, first, I'm going to have to update the firmware on this board. You can see it's still running the M5 stack firmware, so I'm going to have to update the firmware. Let's see what happens here. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and update the firmware on this board. Again, select the M5 Atom Matrix board type. And it's writing that out. Okay, I'm just going to hit reset over here and see if that worked out. Oh, that's interesting. So, I think it just wrote the firmware. It didn't write the program. I'm going to go live. Oh, there we go. The USB goes green. Yeah. Okay, so, we're, I think we're in live mode. I'm going to take this out of live mode. I want to see if the software actually wrote. Okay, so that was just live mode. So I had to write the firmware first. Now I'm going to go in live mode and demonstrate this program here. You can see it responds to the tilt sensors and updates the display accordingly. So that was remarkably simple to write that code. I'm going to go ahead and upload this firmware now. First I'm going to hit stop here. Okay, so this time around it should be writing this program onto that particular Atom Matrix board. And you can see that other Atom Matrix is just running connected to the battery. 
All right, so I hit reset, and you can see the program is running. I'm going to go ahead and close Microblocks now to make sure that it is just running on its own here. Yeah, there you go. You see that motion sensor and display example is running on its own without Microblocks IDE connected. So you might want to check out Microblocks, this scratch-inspired blocky IDE. It sure seems to have a lot of functionality that I don't recall seeing in some of the other blocky IDEs that I've done videos about. So make sure to check those out as well. And check out M5 Stack for remarkably inexpensive development platforms. And of course, these demo programs are going to be available in GitHub. Look for the link in the description down below. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.